next phase is uh, going to be defense. So what we're looking at is teaching our kids how to finish a defensive possession. So this next drill here is the end of a defensive possession. The player has driven to the basket, they've given up their dribble, and now they're trying to score at the rim. Uh, we call it building a wall, building a wall. And we, we need our athletes to be solid at building a wall, not giving up that foul in that last two seconds of a defensive possession, and then turning and rebounding the basketball. So I'll build that up for you now. Offensively, we want the player to walk up and put his toes on the jump circle, okay? He's going to be right in the middle of the floor, right in the middle of the rim. And what's going to happen is defense is going to have his toes inside the jump circle and he's going to hand him the basketball. As soon as the defense has, hands the offense the basketball, we're live. We're going straight away. So as soon as I hand him the ball, if he wants, he can shoot it straight away, okay? If he doesn't have that shot, there are no dribbles, but he can step around this way and get a shot off, or he can step around that way and get a shot off, okay? So offensively, your job is to catch and get a shot off or step around and get a shot off. And after you shoot the basketball, your next job is to rebound the basketball. So whether you make the shot or miss the shot, we want you to rebound the basketball. And we want you to continue to rebound the basketball until the defense secures the possession. Does everyone understand that? So if he steps around and he shoots it, and he makes it, rebound here, you put it back, rebound here, put it back, rebound here, and he keeps rebounding until the defense secures the rebound. If you want to get your partner better, this is the time to get your partner better. We need the defense to secure the rebound. So don't shoot the ball once and think that the drill is over. You shoot the ball and then you chase. Shoot the ball and then you chase. And you continue to do that until your defense, the defense has done what? Secure the rebound. So this is how you get your partner better, okay? Now, defensively, as soon as you pat, give him the basketball, you need to eat up any space between you and the offensive player. Because if he is moving forward and I'm moving forward at the same time, the foul will go against the defense. So you need to initiate contact first. We call it delivering the first blow, okay? So as soon as you push that ball there, you get body-to-body -body contact, and then you maintain that contact with that offensive player the offense will try to release the contact. You don't want that to happen. As soon as you deliver the ball, you get body-to-body -body contact, and then from there, we call it building a wall. We want to put our fingers through the ceiling. We're going straight up in the air. So many times I've seen at the end of a defensive possession, a player goes in, gives up his dribble, up fakes, Player goes here and then comes over, and the referee blows the whistle. You, have, you are entitled to that position, but you must be standing straight up, and you have to have your fingers through the ceiling, okay? So, as soon as you deliver the ball, you get body-to-body -body contact, and you build the wall. Now, if the offense starts to move, you can move with him, but you don't move with your chest, you move and touch with your hips. So if he's there, you deliver, he tries to go to the side, you go with the hip. And you say, referee, no fouls. I'm standing up straight up, okay? No fouls. You got that? He goes to the other side, your contact, he's moving, your hip. You're entitled to that space. Keep your hands straight up in the air, okay? Offense shoots the ball, you then hit, you hold, and then you rebound. And we keep playing until the defense secures the ball. 
Here we go. Let's have a practice right here. Building a wall. Let's see how we go. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Straight up. Rebound, 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 rebound. Get him, get him. Good. Excellent. Hold there. Good job. Okay. Hey, that was pretty good. Hands were straight up. He released the contact, which meant that he could have put himself in a position to get a foul. We want to keep body-to-body -body contact. Hey, let's try to switch it up. Let's see the other one. Other way. Toes on the black line. Toes up. There we go. Straight up. Good, good. Stay attached. Stay attached. Rebound it. Rebound it. Good. Excellent. Hey, we need you to chase. After you shoot, chase and get your rebound. Okay. All right. Hey, let's get half of you here, half of you down there. Let's go. Let's build a wall. Let's build a wall. Chase, chase. Good, G. Good, good. Chase that board. Straight up. Too far away. Too far away. Too far. Too far away, defense. Stay tight. Keep your hands up. You don't have to try to block the shot. So this is where we see how disciplined our kids are. Um, I've had two guys already try to block the shot. And then nowhere did I say, I want you to jump and block the shot. Just said, build a wall. Stand straight up, be disciplined, and show the referees no fouls are here, okay? So this, this is where, as a nation, where we really need to get better. Just straight up, straight up, steady up, keep your hands up. Good, turn, ah, so he didn't chase the board. We really gotta get our kids, after they shoot, they really have to chase the board. Um, and that's gonna make the, the defensive player better if we do a great job of chasing to get that rebound. Hands straight up, ah. Where's your hands? Where's your hands? Where's your hands? Hey, hey, you got to get your hands up. Keep them there. Get them up. Fingers through the ceiling. Fingers through the ceiling. Play it, play it, play it. While we don't want to foul here, if we foul, we're fouling with our hips, okay? You're not fouling with your knees. You're not fouling with your elbows. You're not fouling with your chest. You're fouling with your hips. And you really just have to kind of give that appearance to the referees that, look, I'm I'm straight up. This, this guy is the one initiating the contact here. So really, you have to teach your players. You have to teach your players that. You know, otherwise, you'll, you'll, you'll feel like you're unlucky because the hands are up, but there's contact and they're calling on the defense. So you really teach them that, look, the hands are up, there's no fouls, this is my, this is my spot. Good, good, keep going, keep going, keep them up. Right here, right here, find it, find it, find it, come on. Here we go, right here again, fight it, fight it. Keep them up, keep them up, right here. Let's go, here we go, keep them up, good. Getting better, that's how you get better, right there. So, in this drill right here, we always want the defense to have their chest in the driving lane. So everything is gonna be engage, deliver. Engage the defense, deliver the ball, okay? So, his job is to come in, Engage the defense, deliver the ball. You must catch the ball on the block. When the receiver gets the ball, his job is to take one dribble and attack the rim. Okay, so let's go. You got to catch it on the block. One dribble, attack the rim. Good, excellent, come back. Now, defensively, my job is to stop the driver and then get back to the, hold it, get back inside the charge circle, establish defensive position, which means I need to get here first and I need to be facing the offensive player, okay? So I don't want you guys to come from here and try to meet him out there. Your job is stop ball, drop to the rim, facing and first. That's your job. He's going to come to you. He's gonna to come to you, okay? Now, as he comes in, one dribble, from here, you are building your wall. If the offense jumps, the defense jumps up as well. And your fingers are going through the what? Fingers through the ceiling. We don't want you to jump and bend over, and we definitely don't want you to jump to block a shot. We don't want you to jump and block a shot. We just want you to get here first, facing, he jumps, you jump straight up in the air, and all we want you to do is contest that shot. That's it. That's it. 
That's all we're looking to do. Okay? Is there going to be contact? Yes. Is there contact in a basketball game? Yes. So we're working on that right now, guys. We're working on that right now. You got that? Okay, let's have a bit of a practice here. You're in the uh, driving lane. So defense must always start at white line, and offense starts at the free throw line. Let's see. Here we go. Good. Get there. Excellent. Play. Hold there. That's it. Now, his feet, when he dropped, he went from here, which was great, but then he met this guy out here. Okay? If you're moving forward and the offense is moving forward, who are they going to call the foul on? Defense every time. So just meet him at the rim. He's coming. You just drop straight to the rim and then jump straight up. Rotation is passer, shooter, shooter, next defender, defender is off, a new passer comes on. That's the rotation. Any questions? Let's get to your rim, guys, half and half. Half and half, let's go. Get to your rim, half and half. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Good, excellent, good play. Let's go guys, come on, quick guys. Give me three, try to block the shot. Get down, get down, oh, that's a foul, that's a foul right there. So coaches, you now can put on your referee's hat here and just see, you know, where, where, where's the foul hat, where's the contact happening? Where's the foul happening? And this is where you can really help your players, particularly, like I said, that last two or three seconds of a defensive possession, players driving to the rim. We want to teach our players how to defend two without fouling. All we want to do is contest the shot. And it, the key is, is that defender really needs to drop to the rim. Don't try to go meet the offensive player. You drop to the rim, and then you just play the verticality, jump straight up, and contest the shot. You are entitled to that position as much as the offensive player is. Ah. Okay, hey, you got to get in front. You have to get in front of him. It's contact, man. Jump, drop. Too high. Too high. Good job. Good job. Great job. Good job. So some of the things that you have to look at, coaches, uh, to help your athletes, first and foremost, is when the, at, when the defense drops to the rim, some of them, when they jump, they're actually moving forward when they jump. You, you, that needs to be a vertical, straight up and down. That's the first thing. Secondly, when the athletes drop to the rim, they cannot leave their feet until the offensive player leaves their feet. If the defense jumps first, and then the offense jumps, it will be a foul on the defense 95% of the time. So the defense has to show good patience when they're in that position. And they don't jump until the offensive player leaves his feet. Once they leave the feet, you can jump up in the air. But if you jump before the offense, you're likely to get called that foul every single time. A good offensive player will make sure they call that foul.